okay crazy thing good morning guys crazy thing um we shot a whole vlog today and the memory card crashed so now we got no vlog <laughs> so i'm gonna try and update i'm gonna try and redo the vlog for you but i wanted to show you guys that i put this chair here Don't bring it not super cool but uh, it might not look awesome. It likes me because I give it a worm. Look at that one is being overloved by the boys. No, not that one. Okay, anyway, even. anyway, I put it here because when we moved here, one of the things I wanted to do was be able to sunbathe because we could never sunbathe at our old house ever. Come look at the grass that I cut. All right, I have a chair here now, and I'm gonna lay here in the sun and read my book in the summer whenever there's a spare moment, and I'm excited about it. Okay, so there she is. See her? I gotta figure that out. I know which rooster's doing it. See, she's got sores. Unfortunately, it's Sophie's favorite rooster. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. It's fine. Just give them a backpack thing. Yeah, I might have to get like a saddle for her. Oh, one thing you missed today. Sophie cut the grass, which is so good for her. We cut the smell grass. It smells so good. So she cut over here, all that grass. Wouldn't that make it like a, such a cute arena? It's bigger than it looks. Ellie, and then she cut over here. Oh, it smells so gorgeous out here. Sam cut this section because Sophie got tired of it. There's actually a lot of grass to cut at this house. So she, or so Sam cut this whole section. I gave Sam a big, huge list of things I need done from him. One is to get the garden ready. And when I reminded him today, he said, don't worry, Laura, I have a list. I was so excited by that because I have a list. <laughs> Sam's never had a list. That is the saddest thing. I'm telling you, you've never seen anything sadder than these goats. So I, Sam's trying to get a recovery, a disc recovery thing for the <laughs> look at him. He's so sad. So anyway, what I was showing you guys this morning was that yesterday, let me show you. So. Yesterday I watched the mom blossom and I swear to God, she stands on that ledge and jumps over this fence, which fence, which is a death defying jump. So Sam fixed that. He made it so that um, nobody can get over it. So today I was like, yes, I'm gonna have so much milk. And I came down at lunchtime and she hardly had any milk. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> She's like, I'll come with you. She's dying to get in here because of all the green grass. I mean, her tail's pretty clean. Yep, let's see, did you get any pink on it? No. <laughs> it's easy. Two of your babies. Nurse. Yeah, so where was that? Where did they do that? Right here, we covered it. So what ended up happening? Dad put this side on the bottom. And I was like, well that has bigger holes, so it should go at the top. Because he still stuck his head through this. Okay, so what happened was that the mom stuck her head through the hole in the fence. The baby stuck his head through the fence and just from her doing that, it brought the teats close enough for him that he could nurse. So he drank all the milk again today. And then Sam fixed this fence. You aren't allowed <laughs> to have milk, mom. All right, so that was sad. So now those two things are fixed. Um, but today I watched them on the camera and he laid right here in the sun. Right here, he laid here and she laid right over on that side and they laid close together. Um, um, but wait, imagine being like a mom and needing to feed your baby and it, you, it's, you can't get to it. That would be the saddest thing. Like, I just feel so bad. But he's doing good, physically. All right, I'm showing you what else he fixed. All right, what else did you fix? Did you not feed us? I did nothing. Gabby, let the go out. in. Throw him out. <laughs> Never happens to us, Gabby. <laughs> it's just joking, it happens to us every day. Not 10 me. times a day. Uh-oh. <laughs> Run, Gabby, run! One person at a time. Let's see, we all did it. Can Gabby do it? Yep. You just... all, right. all right, so then they put more fencing over here so that the goats couldn't get up there. But anyway, so Sam spent the day fixing fences. I spent the day trying to clean up this poop pile and this is how much I got done. I got this huge thing filled up. Sam has to drag it out so I can redo it again. So now the goats can't go anywhere. He's fixed every single fence. They can only go in this field and this field and then the, the boy field. Yeah. Sam cut this thing. He's gonna break it. No, not me. I'm standing on top of a wooden support. Look at, is she taller than you now? 
I've always been taller than her. Turn around back to back. She's always been tall. I'm 5'6". She's 5'8". She five, has taller eight. shoes on right now. 5'6", five, 5'8". Five, eight. Five, eight and 5'6". Which is funny because my oldest son is the shortest one. And then my youngest son is the tallest one. Isn't that crazy? So I wanted to update you guys about this little cricket. So you guys know that when I got her, I could see an udder. She's doing it. She was doing it. Hi, Blossom. Let's see your udder. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of milk. So anyways, about cricket. When we got her, literally the day after we got her, I could see an udder. Isn't she so cute though? I'm like literally in love with this goat now. I, I didn't, never used to love black goats. Now I'm obsessed. Can you do it? Can you balance on the balance beam? Balance on one foot for a long time. Yeah, right? one foot. Can you do it one foot? I Hop. could not balance on my right foot. Okay, I could barely balance on my left, but my right foot's way worse. Okay, so about her. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if I could balance on it. Hang on. Hang on. You know, I'm doing pretty good. Try and put your foot like this and not like that. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Suddenly she falls right off. Ow. Alright. Sophie will go for an hour. She she's holding out like this. Yeah, that's harder. Oh, is it harder? It's harder. No, it's easier. It's harder. It's easier. This balances my right foot better. Alright. My right foot, I'm better at it. I don't know, I feel like I have good balance. Don't do it! I feel like the shorter you are, the better your balance wait. should be though. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about stop? Are you talking about like this? Cause if so. You got no balance. Yeah, like that. All right, so again, back to cricket. I have ADHD, you guys. I switch topics all the time. So basically, when we got her, the day after, she was with a couple of boys, noticed that she had an udder. And I posted this online and said like, you know, I got this baby, three months old, she has an udder. So everybody said there's no way she's pregnant. There's like so many people said there is no way she's pregnant. I talked to the owner and the owner said there's no way that she's pregnant. That the boy that she was with was banded. Um, the only mistake she did was that she didn't leave him out after she was banded him. So it was he was put in with her. <laughs> so anyway, she said there's no way that he could she could be pregnant. Oh my God! I got bit by a mosquito. No touching. I just got bit by a mosquito. First okay, mosquito of the season. Hi, little baby. Hi, brown boy. <laughs> so fast forward, I just let it go and decided not to stress about it. Nobody thought she could be pregnant. And then yesterday, I was, oh, there's my dog. Yesterday, I was walking around behind her and I could see between her legs and her udder has grown enough that I can see it hanging between her legs. So. She's definitely pregnant, 150% pregnant. I talked to her owner and she said like, she's so, so, so sorry. Like she, that happens though. Like I'm the queen of not being able to keep animals apart when they're in heat. So I get it. It's unfortunate. It's sad. It's terrible, but it's, it is what it is. So four month old cricket is definitely pregnant. So that means that Rosie is not my last baby. She's not the last one to give birth in August, I think. Um, Cricket's gonna give birth. <laughs> she just let me hit her. She hits me in the face. She goes like that. No, high five. No, you hold your hand out. <laughs> Are you trying to do it so hard that it hurts? Okay, me and Julia do this. <laughs> Chill out, woman. I don't care. Chill out, woman? Yeah. Anyway, so there's an update on Cricket and her pregnancy. She's for sure pregnant. He is so cute. Why does it have white spots on it? Those are moon spots. Those are desirable. Well, Allie got moldy. Straight to mommy. He looks moldy. <laughs> See, there you guys. That's what happened all day. He didn't eat. She didn't eat. They hardly ate. All right, just wait. Look and see if she turns around. Oh, I can see it. It's, it's small. What are you it is at? small, but right between her legs, you can see her udder hanging down. <laughs> oh, and her little teats, they're so cute. Look at them all chewing their cud. The Isn't it so cute? His name's Toad. Aren't they so cute, though? Other than the fact that I was like, oh my gosh, look at the mom's milk. 
Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, okay. It's dinner time. <laughs> look at the babies, they're so cute. Update on Rosie, we are two weeks away from her due date. And she's looking like a single baby to me. She's looking so cute. Why are you laying there? She dived. <laughs> Whoa. She dived on the ground. <laughs> oh, this is what happens after they eat. Oh, it's because they're they're wanting to fight. <laughs> Molly, Ellie. Hi, cute baby. Hi. Look at how cute you are. Look at how big those boys are. It's crazy how big the brown boys are, and they're only a day older than those ones. Those ones are so tiny compared to them. Okay, go. You're off balance. No, I'm good. They're on a hill, so I just don't know how this is going to go. I was counting down. I have hay in my hair. I know. I love watching these babies. Look at Ellie. Um, he's falling asleep. Aww. He is falling asleep. Don't touch me. They do not sleep with their eyes open. Look at how he's cute. Sleeping. He's making the sleeping noises, Gabby. You're waking up. Oh, sleep. yeah. See when they blink and their eyes take a long time to open? That Look, his eyes are half closing. He's definitely so. falling asleep. That was a, so adorable. Here, look at, one. so that brown one, the brown one's never come up to us. It's her. Yeah, but look at, yeah, he's literally like looking for his friend. Here, hold this one, I'll grab the other one. Hi guys, so somehow the memory card was corrupted. I had a program to take the the files off the memory card even though it's corrupted. That didn't work. All I had was like a couple still images and videos, but there was no videos in them. It was all blank. And he's went to the sales barn. Chicken guy wasn't there. Waited a whole hour. And he never showed up and, and that was like after last week when he said oh yeah i'll be there but anyways he'll probably be there next week so we're going to try again next week and we went through this whole other part of the barn it was empty pretty much we went to the whole part of the barn that had all the cows and we saw all these cows and we were way up high kind of kind of scary next next week i'll show you what that looks like it was really scary up at the top looking at, down at the cows but anyways, we had a busy day. I ended up cutting the grass. So if you cut some of the grass for me, want to cut grass? I don't know how. <laughs> That's why you have to learn. Anyways, we're gonna take that trailer and dump it. That's what we're gonna do. So I've been pruning the big pear tree in the front. I think I got it pretty good. I need to do more pruning. But for now, that's good. I got a lot of the dead stuff and a lot of the offshoot branches needs a I need to chop it off at the top because the pear is too high I can't can't get it so anyways we're gonna load up this on the trailer too and take it to the dump and just like that we're set up for another load I don't know how many more loads we got maybe 10 <laughs> it is time to put the horses in again and Storm's here. Storm's ready. Uh oh. Piggy's here. That's not good. Piggy, you can't eat that stuff. I think the pig might get run over. Come on, Piggy. All right, let him in before the pig comes back. This is hard to do when the pig is here. Good job, Penny. Now I have to look for the pig. Come on, piggy. Come on. Come on. There goes the pig. I'll open this door just so the pig can come back. Yep, pig is gone. Pig is gone. Everybody's got their green, everybody's got their hay. We're in the search, you guys. The search for the pig. It's gone missing. We found the pig with the goats. The goats are in, but she's at the goat barn. 
she gets around fast. I think we're gonna have to put a bell on her now. See how that works out. Anyways, this video might be short because of the corruption of the disc, which is too bad. I had Sophie cutting grass this morning after we got back from the sales barn and and there was nothing at sales barn but we were at the cow area too to check out the cows and cows were expensive one angus cow went for ten dollars a pound and it was 85 pounds so that's a lot of money for one calf talked to the owner of that calf and the only reason why I was at the sales barn and he never brings it to the sales barn. It was the only reason he brought a sales barn was because he had 85 calves this year and that one was 86 and that was a twin and the mother did not want to feed that one so he was bottle feeding it and stuff and said oh it's too much work. <laughs> so he brought it to the sales barn because the mother didn't want to take care of it really. And yeah, so so eight hundred fifty dollars for a calf. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're